Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. This is another gift for 6,000 followers on TikTok. A tutorial on how to rig and add physics on hair. I apologize for the one month of delay as I was busy with my studies for my exam. I added some other parts that will associate this tutorial make it up to you all. Anyhow, let's get started. This is an unrigged hair and it is out of place. So we will add a bald model for this so that it's properly in position. I will also send the model of this in the pinned comment. Now adjust the hair on the bald model. Now that it's properly positioned, you may now remove the bald model. Now let's start rigging it, follow carefully what I do. Hold Ctrl and click A. Click on the one that says Armature and click Single Bone. Drag it up all the way to the top of the hair. Next, go to Data here, Viewport Display, and tick in front so it's easier for you guys to add bones. Go to Edit Mode, make sure you selected the armature. Now follow carefully what I do, click E and adjust the new bone. Now a new bone is added, the bones depend where you want the parts of a hair to be rigged. Before I continue adding bones, go to the bone icon and rename the bone to right bone, or anything as long as it contains left or right whenever you rig pigtails or two-sided hairs, I'll explain why later. Now continue adding bones until you reached the desired end part of the hair. By the way, Make sure the bones are in the hair and not out of place to avoid issues. You may also move the endpoint bones as well to adjust it. To make sure they are inside the hair, you can untick in front from the data and viewport display. Now the bones are properly in the hair, I'll show you why I renamed the bones to right or left. Make sure you are still in edit mode and tick in front. Select all the bones from the left side, right click, and click on symmetrize. There, now you don't need to add bones again to the other side. Take note this is only for pigtails or any hairs with two sides. Go to Object Mode. Select Armature, hold Shift, and click on the mesh. Hold Ctrl and click P, then click on Automatic Weights. To test if the hair is now rigged, go to Pose Mode and select a bone, then try to move it around. As you can see, the bones didn't work. Just in case this happens to you, don't worry, I know way to solve it. Undo the parenting then click on your mesh. Go to Modeling, and select all verticals of the hair by clicking A. Click on M and click by distance. The model will look a bit weird, but don't worry, it won't look like that when you bundle it. Now parent them again with automatic weights. Let's test if the bones work this time. Yay they worked! Before we go to bundling with physics, Click on the bones and test which one fits to add physics on it. For example, these two bones look okay to add physics on. Now click on the arrow of your armature, go to pose, then click on the arrow of your bone. 
Keep on doing it to each bones until they reach to a highlighted bone you selected. These are the bones I will add physics on. To remember what bone you will add physics on, rename them with physics or anything to remember which bones to add physics. We are all set. Go to File, Export as FBX, and Save. Open your Unity and go to your project or make a new one. Make sure your bundle package is imported, I will still send it in the pinned comment. Now import your FBX and the texture of your hair. Drag the hair to scene. Right click and click on material. Then select a tune you want for your hair. Drag your texture here and drag the material to the hair. As you can see, the hair doesn't look weird as I told you guys earlier. Now we're going to import three script files, which are the physics. I will also send them in the pinned comment. Put them in Unity. Now follow carefully on what I will do. Click on the arrow of your FBX. Click on the arrow of the armature and the arrow of your bone, then keep on doing it until you see the bones you will add physics on as what we renamed in Blender. Drag one of the scripts in the bone, I will choose the dynamic bone one. Now follow this step carefully, drag the bone to root and reference object. Now we will add physics. There are three types of physics. Jiggle, float, and Osana. Whichever physics you think fits the hair is up to you. I will show you what jiggle physics look like. Change the inert to 0.85. Now follow this next step just in case you have another bone to add physics on. Click on the gear icon and select copy component. Go to the other bone and click on the gear icon again, then select paste component as new. Drag the other bone again to root and reference object. Let's test the physics. Click on play and go to scene, then select your FBX and move it around. This is what jiggle physics look like. Now let's bundle the hair. Before I do that, I would like to add something. Previously on our last bundle tutorial, I've noticed some people encountering issues with the hair appearing big, small, or out of place. So do this solution. Right click on hierarchy and click create empty. Make sure all the positions are zero. Copy the name of your FBX and paste it in game object. Drag your FBX to the empty object. Now let's bundle the hair. Drag the Unity 3D file to pose mod folder from streaming assets. Now go to cutscenes, create a new text document, and type in the commands. Let's test the jiggle physics. Yay the physics worked. Now I will show you how Osana physics look like. Put the FBX again and do the same procedure on putting the dynamic bone script to the bone. This is the setting for Osana physics. Set damping to 1 and inert to 0.85. Copy again the component and paste it to the other bone. Let's test the physics. This is what Osana physics will look like. 
Now let's bundle it. Let's test it in game. This is what Osana physics look like in game. For me, these physics fit for long pigtails, long hair, etc. But it's your choice. Now let's move to the final part, float physics. Float physics and Osana physics are similar, but the difference is the float physics make the hair flow more than the Osana physics. This is the setting for float physics. Set damping to 1, elasticity to 0.082, stiffness to 0.041, and inert to 0.85. This is float physics. Now let's bundle it. Let's test it in game. These physics also fit for long hair, long pigtails, etc. But again, it is your choice which physics you like. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you encounter any issues, let me know, but also do some double checking. Thank you for watching my loves. Have a good day or night.